Hey guys, today's video is going to be a first impression on the Finnis Tempo Trainer. It's kind of loud. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and open this up here at my house because it looks a little bit confusing to set up and I thought it would be easier to do it here. All right, so this is the Tempo Trainer part and as you can hear, like a heavy ball in there. So this is their Tempo Trainer called the Tech Talk and on the back it says that this improves hip and body position, increases power and improves timing. It's compatible with all four strokes and it has a delay setting on here so you can make the tempo slower or faster. Now the last time I tried a finished product with this kind of a strap around my waist, it didn't work very well. The strap kind of moved around a lot. I can't exactly remember what it was called, but I will link it up there and you guys can watch that video. It had fins on the side. It was a, just a resistance trainer. This is definitely different because it sits on your lower back. I do hope that the strap that goes around my waist will stay in place. Now I'll pop up a picture on the screen right now of how you wear this. It goes right at the small of your back and the strap goes around your waist. So we need to set up the strap. Okay, so the Tech Talk can be used on either of the two settings. So it doesn't have a fine tuning setting. It's either the delay is on, so it's a slower tempo, or the delay is off, making it a little bit of a faster tempo. But those are the only options you get. Okay, so in the delay on position, the swimmer has to rotate at least 45 degrees to get the ball to the drop. It says to get feedback. That's what they say. Oh, okay. So in the delay off position, any movement from the level position will result in feedback. So the ball moving, which means that you can be flat and you can move just a little bit and the ball will just roll immediately. I have a review here from Swim Outlet and this person says, when I first took it out of the packaging, I found the noise too loud and thought it may annoy other pool users. When I used it at the pool, other users hardly noticed it. The level of sound was just right for me to get feedback underwater. The belt is solid. At this stage, I highly recommend it. Overall, the reviews on Swim Outlet are pretty good. All right, so this Tech Talk is $45 on Swim Outlet. So we're just gonna quickly do this. Oh, this is a zip tie. Oh, there's scissors right here. I did not plan that at all. They were just sitting there. Okay, so here's the strap. This is exactly the same as the other product I was mentioning up there. I can't freaking remember the name of it. So it's got a nice opener right there and you slide the strap in. Yeah, so you can make this as tight as you need it to go. Now, before we do that, we need to put the device on it. Okay, so I'm going to put the strap down in this hole and then come back up in this one because it's lengthwise this way. Okay, that looks pretty, that looks pretty good. I don't know what these other holes are for. Butterfly and breaststroke timing forward and backwards. Oh, you're so smart. <laughs> so there's these other two holes here. So if you were to put the strap into these two holes, you could wear it this way on your lower back. That way for a butterfly and breaststroke, when you're going forwards and backwards, you get the tempo. All right, so here is our waist strap and here is our tempo trainer. I'm gonna head to the pool now and I am really excited to try this out, so I will see you guys when I get there. Hey guys, so we're gonna get started. So the delay is already set to on. This is the delay off part under here, so I'm sure you just spin it up to the top and it'll take the delay off, which we will be testing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and do freestyle and backstroke warm up. my gosh, I love this so much. <laughs> the delay makes you rotate to a perfect 45 degree angle. And in my backstroke, I have a lot of trouble with rotating either too much or not enough. It kind of like varies every time I swim it. I don't know. It helped because the minute the ball hit when I rotated, I would rotate to the other side. That way I didn't over rotate. So not only does it make sure you rotate enough, but it also makes sure that you don't rotate too much because you just immediately start rotating again the minute the ball hits. It's not sliding around on my waist. It's not uncomfortable digging in, rubbing anywhere. This is so comfortable. I love this. I'm gonna turn you guys. I'm gonna take it out. So then instead of putting it in these two slots, which puts it lengthwise across your lower back, I'm gonna put it here. That way when I do fly, I rotate forward and back like that. So the ball should move to make sure that my hips are undulating enough in my butterfly. And then breaststroke should make sure that I'm pushing my hips up to the surface enough to stay flat. That way when we put it around our waist, it's gonna sit like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and then swim some butterfly and breaststroke.
this is like my new favorite thing ever. This is so worth $45. It makes my strokes feel smooth. On brush stroke, I noticed that it wasn't rolling every stroke. Instead of diving down, I tried to keep my shoulders and my arms flat at the surface, but kind of push my hips up just a little bit to get a stronger push in my kick and then the ball would roll. So it even helped me work on my brush stroke, which is my best stroke. And then in butterfly, as you guys saw, I did a little bit of one arm first because I'm not warmed up enough for regular fly. And the one arm fly and the little bit of regular fly that I did, a lot of times when I wasn't taking a breath, I couldn't feel the ball moving. So I would make sure, and it would make me think that, oh, when I'm not taking a breath, keep undulating my hips the same as I would if I were taking a breath. And then I would feel the ball start rolling. So it really helped me work on my strokes. I'm gonna definitely give this to my dad when he goes to work out, but this is like the best training tool I have ever tried. I'm so excited about this. So really quickly, I'm going to put it onto the no delay setting, the delay off, just to see what that feels like. I'm gonna move it back to the freestyle setting just to do some nice easy freestyle. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. So you just you just twist it like that. It takes a little bit to get it started, but then once you get it, it works. So if you have it sitting like this, you're gonna twist it towards you. So like that. The ball just rolls as fast as you tilt it. So this would probably be good for like a beginner who has a lot of trouble with rotating or in flying brush they have a lot of trouble getting their hips up. So this is like a good starting point I'm guessing. So I'm going to try this for just like two lengths just to see how it feels and give you guys an in-depth review. Okay, that works really well but I do have some good thoughts on it, don't worry. Like I mentioned before, I found that whenever the ball would hit, I would immediately start to rotate to the other side, which kept my tempo nice and even. With this, since it rotates so much faster, because there's no delay on it, I found that my tempo was a lot faster. So I'm thinking that not only would this be good for beginners, of course, but this would also be good if you're training for a sprint race and you're doing just sprints down the pool. That way you can make sure you're still rotating enough, even with a really fast tempo if that makes sense. <laughs> makes sense in my head. So I'm really excited about this because you can sprint with it, you can do all four strokes with it, and beginners can use it, advanced can use it. Like this is incredible. I'm so impressed with this. One thing I wanna check though is if you can change the setting from delay off to delay on while it's on. That way you don't have to like fully take it off. Yay, it worked! Again, you twist it towards yourself. So since it's on my back, I twisted it towards myself and it immediately twisted. So now it's, <laughs> now it's on the delayed setting. So that's really easy then. So if you want to keep this on for like your entire workout and you are doing distance stuff, warm up stuff, but also sprints, you can change it while it's still on so you don't have to take it on and off. This was a super successful first impression. I really miss doing these videos. I know I haven't done one in a while, so I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're excited that the first impressions are back, give this video a huge thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below on what you want me to try next. And subscribe if you haven't already to see more of these super fun videos. Bye guys. So I have a review here from Swan. Blah, blah. I have a review here from, from no, why can't I say that? <laughs>